Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has released the first major version upgrade for this year, 2025. Now, as always, to double check, we have the latest release. We head to our main menu, Help, about Google Chrome. Latest version and build after this update has been applied is version 132.0.6834.1. .83 or .84. Either or means your browser is up to date on version 132 if you're running Windows, Mac and Linux. Now, first of all, focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. And this week, Google patches 16 security uh, flaws. So that means all the other Chromium-based web browsers will also now more or less get the same security fixes later this week. And out of the 16 vulnerabilities that have been patched, there are one, two, three, four, five high severity security flaws that have been fixed, which is ranked just below critical. And the high severity flaws consist of flaws like out of bounds memory access in the V8 JavaScript engine, inappropriate Im implementation in navigation, Integra overflow in Skia and stack buffer overflow in tracing. And they've also got an out of bounds read in metrics. So a lot of those out of bounds, inappropriate implementation and so on are common exploits in the Chromium based web browsers. And thankfully there are no critic critical vulnerabilities um, and there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild, which is always good news. Now focusing on what's new in Google Chrome and as I have been saying on the channel over the last couple of weeks, I find that a lot of these so-called new tweaks and adjustments for Google Chrome are rolling out with point release updates and not actually major version upgrades. So there's not really any front facing features to talk about um, with version 134, but there are some interesting so-called under the hood changes that have taken place. Now, first of all, they have rolled out fixes and improvements for the keyboard focusable scroll containers. Now, using shift and tab or tab, that means you can scroll between the different elements of the browser, as you can see, uh, using your keyboard. So there we go. So you get the idea. So they've brought um, a couple of improvements to those focusable scroll containers. And then there are improvements to the strict transport security headers. Now, basically what has happened here is that the HTTP, which is less secure, now informs browsers that the site should only be accessed using HTTPS, which is a more secure connection, and that any future attempts to access it using HTTP, the less secure, should automatically be upgraded to HTTPS, the more secure. So that's um, give or take what is happening with that improvement. Now, over and above that, um, the enterprise version of Google Chrome, um, there are improvements for batch upload, which now allows users to upload locally stored passwords and addresses to their Google account. And apparently this feature will expand to other data types in the future, according to Google. And they've also made various improvements for enterprise users, including customized Chrome Web Store, enhanced user management capabilities and improved security settings. So those last two mentions are for the enterprise version. And when it comes to the stable version, they've also rolled out stability and performance fixes, which in include um, various improvements to improve the browser stability and performance. So guys, that's it. That's more or less um, what's new in version 134. As mentioned, no front-facing features, but um, watch the point releases because that's where we see most of our tweaks and adjustments taking place with Chrome and also Edge to some extent or the other. And talking about Edge, we should be getting Edge, I would say, starting Thursday this week. And Brave should also be rolling out over the next day or two. And if you are using Vivaldi, just on a quick side note, I see they have already released their... Um, release candidate one for the snapshot for the next version upgrade 7.1 so vivaldi 7.1 i would say there's a very good chance if we don't see it this week we'll see version 7.1 of vivaldi early next week so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one